What's up, guys? Once again, you are welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys. Yesterday, uh, Samuel, the governor of Lagos State, ordered the demolition of houses in Ajao Estate, and uh, the video you are watching now uh, is going to make you cry because um, there are a lot of people who are saying that Samuel has declared what both Tinubu and Samuel have declared war on the evils because the house you are seeing here right now majority of them are owned by the evils you know and of course you know that there was uh, this uh, debate that on who or in short i want you to just watch this video it's very pathetic uh, if you know you will cry don't watch the video uh, watch the video and then after that i'll be back to analyze this video in everywhere see, 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 see. they are demolishing everywhere oh. the whole building the whole house they are demolishing oh rosview or that are the west rosview or that the west oh they are demolishing everywhere rosview 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 street at the west see see them when they came with suka tapila see them See them demolishing everywhere. I could not bring out anything from my house. So I could not bring anything out. So. They came with head for it. They came with head for it. Demolishing everywhere. Demolishing. All right. So back to what I was saying. You know, there have been this, uh, there have been this ongoing debate in Lagos on who actually owns uh, Lagos, and of course, you know, uh, there was this accusation that the Igbos uh, are being flamboyant, they are being proud because they have wealth, you know, and all of that. So there are a lot of people. In fact, uh, Lagos, uh, 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 this guy, what's his name? MC Oluomo threatened to. To kill the Igbos. He declared war on the Igbos. What the information went international and international uh, community were alerted to what Saolu was about to do. And so he had to mellow down because he went international. So, and uh, all thanks to social media who actually made it go viral. So, but you see, um, this, you, you, some people, I'm not saying that it is because of Lagos, I mean, because of the Igbos that these houses are being destroyed i'm only saying people, what is uh the public opinion of many that the houses here in fact 90 percent of them are owned by the evils you know so it's not me who is saying it it is what people are saying that um the evils voted against Tenobu in the just concluded 2023 february election you know and that they were under Duress. They were under duress to vote for APC, um, but a lot of them had believed that Peter B was going to win, and they staked everything, took the risks, voted for Peter B. And today they are suffering for it, that is why. And that they were told not to vote for Peter B, that they should vote for, you know, uh, for uh Labour Party, of which they did. They did. So, but look at what is happening now. So, I'm only telling you what is. In the court of public opinion, you know, people are saying, you know, that okay, why? But uh, Lagos State government said that the houses here don't have documents. They are not documented, and they are not according to planned. That's a Lagos State. But some people accuse Lagos State government. These houses have been here over the years, over the decade. Nothing was done. Why now? People are accusing the Lagos State government. Why now? You know, so that is what is uh, happening. So I don't know. Do you guys have more information on this? Please, I'd like you to drop it on the comment section. And also, uh, like this video, hit the like button, drop your comment, subscribe to this channel if this is your, your first time. So we bring you latest update on news and what is happening around the nation and around Africa. Thank you very much, guys. God bless you. Peace out.